And just like that, we are on to the final presentation of the day. Encompass Solutions is a system used by the majority of racing organizations to run their racetracks and meets, providing a centralized platform to organize data. From before horses ship into the track until after they ship out, the Encompass system assists racing personnel in a variety of jobs required to run a racetrack, from the racing office to simulcasting and health and safety services, which is what we're going to focus on next. Um, Encompass includes several features that assist veterinarians in maintaining a safe and healthy racing population. To discuss Keeneland and the Encompass programs, I'd now like to welcome Chris Dobbins, Senior Vice President at Encompass, and Dr. Stuart Brown, Vice President of Equine Safety for Keeneland, who not only oversees equine safety during Keeneland race meets, but also year-round during training at Keeneland and the Thoroughbred Training Center. So welcome, Chris and Dr. Brown. Well, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the Grayson Jockey Club, Jamie Hayden, uh, and of course, Dr. Brown and Keeneland for uh, hosting this. It's, it's been a, a great conference uh, or summit, and uh, I look forward to uh, getting us to the finish line, and uh, Dr. Brown's going to put a bow around it, and uh, he'll kind of uh, back up uh, what I explain into a practical purpose of what they do here at Keeneland and at the Thoroughbred Training Center. Uh, just to add a little bit about Encompass, uh, we're, we're a, you know, a software as a service platform, but we try, we're a solutions provider. And so what makes our platform unique uh, and very uh, valuable to the industry is, is we do service 100% of the marketplace. And so every racetrack has access to this platform that they're putting data into. They're looking at the data. We're able to create uh, custom reporting for them and create uh, a lot of products to uh, service our uh, racetracks. And so with that, I'll, I'll get into kind of where, what the objectives are here today. I just want to, you know, discuss how we meet our clients' welfare and safety needs, uh, what we've done to uh, assist Keeneland with our Thoroughbred Training Center uh, to, again, address those welfare and, and safety needs. Uh, I'll give a, a quick update on, on what uh, we have uh, worked with Hyza on in our flagship product, Track Manager, uh, which falls into that first set of uh, rules, the 2000 series, which again are the safety uh, section that we're uh, assisting Hyza with, and of course assisting our customers, the tracks, to, uh, to leverage the, the data they put in to assist them in their, their reporting and their requirements to Hyza. And then I'll, I'll just wrap it up with just giving a quick uh, discussion on our Equitaps product, which is a, a new service uh, that is uh, uh, going to be available for folks to put in their electronic treatment records, pass those along to HISA or the commissions. Again, it's, it's kind of replacing a service that we uh, built uh, to support racing commissions on an individual level. Uh, through their state regulations of uh, requirements for electronic treatment records. So, you, you know, what does Encompass do to help with the welfare and safety? Uh, you know, we, we create a lot of custom reporting packages, which Dr. Brown uh, will definitely go into and provide a lot of examples of, of in today's uh, reports, their, their inventory control, uh, uh, and then we, we, we added another section in that I believe was touched on in the regulatory panel, uh, our non-race observation, which assists uh, veterinarians to, to put in examinations outside of just your uh, race examinations. Uh, you know, I'm sure you, you, you were able to hear a lot of uh, great comments from that panel on the use of those products. We host the pre-race exam module for all the tracks across the country. We host the EID module uh, as well for all the tracks across the country, uh, and as well as the vet lists. And so we built this uh, area of the non-race observation uh, for, again, uh, the ability to put in more information about the horse, uh, to tie that all together with your pre-race exams, uh, and have the, a, a bigger picture of what you're looking at uh, when you're evaluating the horse uh, before a race or just in your day-to-day as uh, Dr. Brown and his team do here at Keeneland. 
we integrate those electronic treatment records uh, into a lot of that reporting. So again, uh, single reporting, instead of doing all the hours of research, you're able to run single reports that give you that uh, view of, well, here's a PP of a horse's history on the track, a PP view of here's its pre-race exams that have occurred, a PP view of any non-race observations that have occurred, we get to then also throw in, you know, all the treatments that have occurred with that horse, uh, any vet list history. So again, they're getting that full picture of a horse's history uh, when they go out and do an exam, evaluate a horse, uh, and decide whether he's, uh, you know, uh, capable of participating that day or not. Or, uh, and, and in some cases, it's not that he's participating that day, but uh, just seeing a horse on a track. Uh, the vet walking around looks up this information and may have a conversation with the trainer about the, the physical status of that horse. And then the risk reporting that we've created. A lot of that emerged from a, a lot of Dr. Dr. Parkins data that's emerged out of uh, the EID and these conferences. Uh, and so, you know, we look at high speed furlongs. Uh, we look at uh, has the horse had vetless history? We look at as a horse had not started before he's four, as he had so many furlongs before he's ever started. There's a lot of different factors uh, that we, we, we look at. And again, Dr. Brown will, will get into uh, some of that aspect of what they look at here. But each racing environment's a little unique and each uh, customer has some unique parameters that fits their population of horses that they wanna monitor a little more closely. So the Thoroughbred Training Center, uh, Dr. Brown came to us and said, you know, we really need to look at this population of horses a little more closely like we would look at our population of horses here at Keeneland. And so we created that facility uh, for the Thoroughbred Training Center in our track manager product to act just like a racetrack. So Dr. Brown has the ability to now you know, look at trainer inventory reporting, uh, assign stalls over at the facility, monitor the in and out uh, process uh, at the training center. And again, all the safety reporting along with that, with inventory starts and entry data for other tracks, along with the risk factors that Dr. Brown likes to look at that pertain to that uh, inventory of horses. And the one thing that, that he is really focused on and we'll, and we'll get more into is, you know, the Thoroughbred Training Center feeds a lot of other tracks around the region besides just uh, Keeneland. So they're really doing a service for many of the other tracks in this region, whether it's Belterra Park or Indiana Grand, they're, they're able to evaluate horses before those horses even go up there for a pre-race exam, which is, which is very beneficial. Just some quick updates on HISA uh, and what we're doing in, in our flagship product, uh, product track manager is we're, we're adding in uh, some entry notifications at the time of entry that we bounce the data back off of the HISA database to say, you know, is, can this horse race? Is he on, is he's been registered? Has the trainer been registered? Uh, has the jockey registered and completed the uh, required uh, procedures that they need, whether it's a, a physical date, a concussion test, and a acceptance of a concussion protocol at the track they participate at. You know, has the horse, is the horse on a high as a vet list, or is the trainer uh, have any fines owed, et cetera. So we'll bounce that data off of the HISA database, bring that back to the entry clerk at time of entry. He, can, he or she can notify the person making the entry that, hey, this horse is on a HISA can't race list. They can then advise those folks to, to take care of that before the horse actually races or becomes scratched on the day of the race. Uh, so just a way for our tracks to be alerted that uh, at time of entry, these are some things that need to be resolved. We created a new HISA vets list. Uh, that's very similar to all the veterinarian lists that's, that have been in track manager and managed 